A team of Indian scientists have developed a new coronavirus test which they say will actually be able to detect if the virus is in your body in a matter of one hour. This particular test, as I mentioned, has been developed by our scientists and it's been termed after a character from legendary uh, filmmaker Satyajit Ray series called Feluda. Now this particular test has also been approved so it means that it's already undergone the test it's been approved by the Drugs Controller General of India which is the government body which usually grants approvals in these cases. This particular development could prove to be crucial it could ramp up our testing and really deal with some of the woes we faced in testing across the country for coronavirus. Let me first explain to you what is a Feluda test for COVID-19. Feluda actually stands for FNCAS9 Editor Linked Uniform Detection Assay. Now it's basically a paper strip diagnostic test, the first of its kind really. So when you imagine it, imagine that it looks like a pregnancy test. So it's a paper strip uh, on which you put the sample and then it tells you whether you've tested positive or negative for coronavirus. It's been developed by a unit of the CSIR, which is the Center for Scientific and Industrial Research. It's in a tie-up with the Tata Group as well. And they're the ones who will be also producing the Feluda test kits once it's out in commercial markets. Now, there have been several descriptions of this test, but the most uh, common one is that it's simple, it's reliable, it's also frugal. So that's important. This particular test is much cheaper than your RT-PCR or your antigen testing. So how really does this test work? How is the sample conducted? How are the results declared? Well, as I mentioned, this is a paper strip diagnostic test. So just like your pregnancy test, again, uh, you either take here in this case a sample of your blood or your saliva. So while it looks like your pregnancy kit, it's different in that sense. You take either your saliva or your blood samples. Those scientists who developed this particular test say that saliva is preferred. Now this particular paper strip uses a protein called CAS9. This has been barcoded to interact with the coronavirus. And so the sample complex, which is CAS9, that's been mixed in this paper strip. So if, for example, you're testing positive for coronavirus, it'll mean that the strip changes color and you'll see two bars coming on it, much like a pregnancy test. What's different, however, is the fact that in this circumstance, it's not as simple as you taking this product and checking it yourself. There is a laboratory that's required to confirm the test results. So how long will it take to detect COVID-19 with the Feluda test? Here's why it's a game changer. Not just is it much easier than an RT-PCR test, which is the most reliable right now, uh, it's also a lot less time consuming. Uh, as far as an RT-PCR test goes, it takes about four to eight hours to confirm if you've tested positive for the virus. Beyond that also, there's a huge process involved in the transportation of the sample and getting the sample. All of it has to be done with utmost care. In the case of the Feluda test, all of that becomes a lot easier. The number of, the amount of resources that you really need to transport these kits is much lesser. It also doesn't need to be dealt with in the same level of sensitivity as an RT-PCR test. And besides that, the scientists who developed this test have said that it takes less than an hour for the results to come in. So how really does this test change India's fight against COVID-19? What's great about this test is that it's as reliable as an RT-PCR test. There's been a lot of criticism of the antigen testing because there are a lot of false po uh, negatives, uh, false positives that come in from that test testing, which is why it's not approved or accepted by many groups. However, in this particular case, the Feluda tests are as reliable as an RT-PCR test, which means that it has 96% sensitivity and 98% specificity for actually detecting coronavirus. Now, if there's a high sensitivity ratio, it means that it will easily be able to detect all those who have the virus and the specificity is important because it can rule out people who don't have the virus. So to break that down for you, if uh, with regards to the sensitivity, if you have a high sensitivity ratio, for example, in this test, it's at 96%, that means you will see very few false negatives and that's important. Similarly, with a high specificity, in this case at 98%, there won't be many false positives. So that means that this Feluda test is very reliable, as reliable, as an RT-PCR. Let's come to also another important point. How cost-effective is the Feluda test? 
The RT-PCR test costs about 2,500 rupees that can vary here and there based on the demand and based on which hospital you go to. So it has been termed as too expensive for a lot of people across the country and not accessible enough. And antigen testing on the other hand is much cheaper but as I mentioned not as reliable a lot of false negatives that the antigen test provides and is not accepted by many many groups across the country. Now here's the catch the Feluda test is not just as accurate as the RT-PCR test which means it's much better than the antigen test it's also much much cheaper it's at 500 rupees so that's much more scaled down than the RT-PCR which is why this is really a game changer as far as testing in the country goes let's also tell you how this particular development of the Feluda test has been received across the world we've got several experts who've hailed the development of the Feluda test for example a research fellow of the Harvard Medical School has said that this is the need of the hour for India and considering the kind of population that is there in the country something like a Feluda test can really change and transform the testing rates in India for coronavirus. You've also got a reaction from the Harvard Institute of Global Health where Dr. Sai has in fact said that the CRISPR based experiment is part of really the third wave of tests after PCR and antigen testing. Remember that the Feluda test used the CRISPR experiment which stands for clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats. Essentially if I had to break that down for you it means that the Feluda tests use a gene editing technology which Harvard has also recognized as another big step towards coronavirus testing. Now I've said time and again that this is a game changer for India because we are the second worst affected country in the world with the number of cases really going up at such a rapid pace and all this talk of a second wave of COVID-19 in India it's important to continue to focus on testing because only then will we understand the scale of the pandemic the scale of the problem we're dealing with the government has assured that testing remains its top focus and in such a circumstance the Feluda test can really change how we fight COVID-19 in India.